Caroline Thomas Woods, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys five easy DIY costumes that you can literally do in seconds. And when I say easy, I mean like real easy, like absolutely no effort whatsoever. Which is perfect for people like me and all my girls out there who leave their costume decisions to the very last minute. And you probably won't even need to leave the house as most of these like materials are probably like in your closet or in your trash. Because let's be honest, we're all broke ass bitches and cannot afford those $50 Walmart costumes. Like, bitch. I ain't got that kind of money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you are excited for Halloween just as much as I am. I also got my friend Ricky to model the costumes with me to showcase that any gender can wear any of these costumes. So with that being said, let's begin. <laughs> My first costume is literally my alter ego and basically one of my favorite costumes. It is a basic white girl. It's empty. Why would you give me an empty PSL? Like, I just can't even. <sighs> I just wanna make sure y'all know this, but the phrase basic white girl isn't a phrase to define race, but more so mentality in this case. You can be any skin color and still be considered a basic or common white girl. Y'all know how much I love Starbucks and pink, so this costume basically channels my spirit animal during the fall season. All you need is a hot pink shirt, some black leggings or yoga pants, a circular scarf, a pair of Ugg boots, or those knockoff ones that you get at Walmart, and then finish off the outfit with a PSL from Starbucks. Avi. Oh, and you can pair it with a leather jacket if you live in cold ass places like Canada. Yes! Oh my god, yes! My second costume is all about the Netflix and chill. However, I advise you not to do Netflix and chill because you will get pregnant and die. Anyways, all you need is a red t-shirt, a piece of paper printed with Netflix on it, some scissors, a little baggie, and a tray of ice. All you need to do is cut out the printed Netflix logo and attach it to your shirt. And then you're gonna put all your ice cubes in a little baggie and seal it tight so you don't get any leakage. And basically that's your costume. Yeah. Is it trash? Is it garbage? No, it's Donald Trump! To achieve this look, all you need is a garbage bag, some scissors, and a dirty old wig, or your grandpa's toupee. All you have to do is lay out the garbage bag, find the end where it's sealed to cut out the top for your head, and then just cut out some uh, holes on the side of the garbage bag so you can stick your arms through. The best part about this costume is when people have to guess what you are, and you can literally be anyone who is literally trash, but I just chose to be Donald Trump. Donald Trump. This evil costume takes a human form as Regina George. Y'all know how much I love Mean Girls, and this costume is literally the easiest to make, so let's get into it. All you need is a white tank top and two sticky notes, preferably pink or purple. I know Regina wore purple, um, but I love pink, so. Um, you need some scissors, and all you need to do is cut circles on the sticky notes and basically just stick them to your nipple area. <laughs> um, and also you can pair it with like a black skirt, or in this case, I paired it with a pink tutu. Last but not least, I had to dress up as my bae, Miranda Sings. Let's be honest, everyone wants to dress up like Miranda. She's just hilarious. Oh, that's spicy. To achieve this look, just look through your dad's closet for like a blue long sleeve shirt, and you'll want to pair it with something red, like some skinny jeans or some sweatpants, as well as the red lipstick. Don't forget that red lipstick, girl. I got lots of bees, and you're wondering how I do. Take a little listen, and I'll find a bee for you. Hey, where am I? Amazing. Were those costumes on fleek or what? <laughs> Like I said, some of them are super sleazy, easy deezy, super easy cover girl. I hope you guys loved that video just as much as I loved making it. It was so much fun filming with Ricky. So if you did like it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up as it really helps a bitch out. So help a bitch out. Again, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you are going to be for Halloween or maybe you're just gonna stay at home and eat candy and watch Netflix like I might end up doing. 
A big thank you to Ricky for helping me film this video and being in it and being super awesome. Make sure you go check out her channel. I'll leave it down in the link below. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you have a fabulous Halloween and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Literal trash. So much trash you can't even handle it. Oh, there goes your nipple. No!